Hello and welcome to part 5 of Beautiful Chord Progressions with me, Fake Dr. Levin. In this lesson I'm going to show you a technique and a chord motion that you'll hear a lot in superhero and science fiction movies and it utilizes a specific interval called the tritone, which I'll explain in a moment. So this is the sound we're going for. very familiar sound. It's big and majestic and also very mysterious. So how do you get that sound? Well, what this sound is built on is this interval called the tritone. So what is an interval? Let's review real quick. The interview, inter, uh, the interview is a movie about North Korea. An interval is the distance between two notes. So this note here and this note here have a distance from each other, of course, and the name for that distance is a major second. So the name of that distance is the name of the interval, so we call it a major second interval. A tritone is this distance. And the way you get that distance is by going from the first note up its major scale four notes. One, two, three, four, and then on that fourth note, sharpening it. So you go do, re, mi, fa, like the first four notes of a major scale, but then you sharpen the fourth note. And then you have your tritone interval. So an example of tritones, you've got Let's say if we started on E, it'd be E, F sharp, G sharp, A, now sharpen A and go A sharp, E, A sharp. Or if we went from B flat, B flat, C, D, E flat, and then sharpen that, we have E, B flat, E. These are examples of tritones. So they're a sharped fourth apart. Or another way of saying a sharped fourth is an augmented fourth. You can get this same interval by going up to the fifth note in a major scale. Do, re, mi, fa, so. One, two, three, four, five. And then flatting that fifth note. A flatted fifth will give you the same note as a sharped fourth. So that's how you find a tritone. You go up to the fourth note of a major scale and then sharpen it, or you go up to the fifth note in the major scale and flat it, and the distance between the first note of the scale and that sharped fourth or that flatted fifth is called a tritone. And what we're going to do for this chord progression technique is we're going to, we are going to play a major chord starting on the first note of the scale and then we're going to play a major chord starting a tritone above that note. So we have one, two, three, four, sharpen it, there's your tritone, so if we play a major chord on the first and then a major chord on the sharp four or the flat five, that's how you get that sound. Now that's not going to fit neatly into a key, which is part of what gives it that really strong, bold sound. It really changes how you feel. So in the accompanying uh, transcription, you'll find this chord progression written out first. We have D major, then we go to A minor. What we're doing here is we're just establishing an initial chord progression. This feeling of D major going to A minor it puts us in this place. It's beautiful and sad. Now we're going to do a big lift. We're going to go and play a major chord, a tritone away from the D major on this A flat. A flat major, and then back down to D major. So it's really, really, really powerful and really beautiful. So here's the chord progression. If you use this
this sound in your music, it just makes it so haunting, and it's a great way to write from a place of spookiness and a place of grandness without making things super dark. It's interesting, you can be very light but still scary, like very, it doesn't sound sad, right? It doesn't sound super like evil, but it sounds kind of, it sounds spooky. So very handy, very beautiful sound. Also in the transcription, I have a second chord progression that's really, really similar to the first. However, in this one, we actually take the tritone interval and we're gonna take the tritone note and actually attach the note itself to a chord. So in the first example, we played two chords that were a tritone apart. So we had this chord, then we moved up a tritone and played another chord on the tritone. Now what we're doing is we're gonna play a chord and then take the tritone and put it in that chord. So literally what we're doing is we're taking an A flat major chord, which normally has the notes A flat, C, E flat, and we're adding a tritone to that A flat chord. So A flat, C, E flat is the normal chord. And then if we look at a tritone up from A flat, we find a D. And I'm taking this D here, and I'm putting it on the A-flat chord, and you get that spacey sound contained within one chord. And when you put that D down to C, you get this nice resolution. And so in your notation, your transcription there, you should see this example. First we've got the D going to A minor, just like in the first one, then back to D again. And now A flat with a tritone attached to it. And then A flat regular, resolved. And then D again. And now A flat regular with an E flat on top. But then we're gonna go tritone, D on top, and then back to D, like this, D major, D major chord right there. So it's beautiful, it sounds like this. So you can really take any major chord and attach the tritone note to that chord and get a really great spacey chord. So what if we did that with our C major open cowboy chord? One of the first chords you learn on guitar. But what if we attach its tritone to it? Well first we have to find its tritone. So you'll remember earlier that I said the tritone is the sharped fourth or the, sh the flatted fifth. So what you need to do is you need to find the fourth or the fifth away from C and adjust it. So how can you do that? So you first you need to find what's a C major scale. All right, a C major scale is C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Those are the notes in a C major scale. And so what we want to do is we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, well, we want to go one, two, three, four to find the fourth. One, two, three, four. Ah, that's F. C is one, D is two, E is three, F is four. And now we're going to sharpen that four to make it F sharp. And now we have found our tritone away from C. That's the sound of the tritone from C to F sharp. And you do the same thing by finding the fifth and flatting it. C1, D2, E3, F4, G5, and now flat five. G to G flat, which is the same note as F sharp. And there's our tritone again. And so what we can do now is take our C major chord and attach an F sharp or G flat, whatever you want to call it, 
to the chord. All right, well, here's one way you could do it. You've got your C here, and then you've got an F sharp here on the high E string. So if you're playing on any chord instrument, piano, whatever, you know, you just simply find an F sharp and play it at the same time as C. Specifically on guitar, here is one way you could do it. Now let's give it a little zoom in so you can really see my hands. Wow, look at those hands. So here's your regular C. And I'm just going to finger things a little differently with my pinky and ring and the index on these notes instead. And I'm going to use my middle finger to play the F sharp here on the second fret on the high E string. And you've got that nice spacey chord now. So if I go ahead and experiment with this concept a little bit, you could get something like this. There's the tritone note, regular major chord, tritone note, chord a tritone away, yeah so it's a great concept to improvise with and I hope that it brings a nice new color to your music. See you in the next lesson.